Chicago family needs help finding a 13-year-old boy missing now for a month. WGN's Glenn Marshall spoke to the boy's father. We spoke to the family of Keyshawn Collins. They told us he was visiting his great aunt's home, which he usually does, and out of nowhere he went missing. They're not trying to point the finger at anyone. They just want Keyshawn home safely. Last time I seen my son was at 830. Take a good look at this photo of 13 year old Keyshawn Collins. It's been close to a month since Kenneth Collins has seen his son. The boy went missing just one day before he and his father made a move out of state. I was moving to uh, Houston, Texas to to try to get a better life from him. I didn't want him to go to high school up in Chicago. It's like that's all of our younger generation dying. So it's like if I got a way to change that, that's what I'm doing. Kenneth says he dropped off his son over at his great grandmother's home on 80th and South Marshfield in the Auburn Gresham neighborhood. Four hours later, he received a call that he was gone. My son went leave that location only with someone he feel comfortable with. Police released a missing person alert September 5th, the same day Romisi Alari said the family saw Keyshawn respond to people on Instagram. Basically, he was saying like, Keyshawn, are you okay? He was saying yes, that he was okay. Then they asked him something else again, and he, he responded to that as well. But we don't know exactly if that was Keyshawn for sure. Keyshawn is described as a five foot one inch kid that's about 90 pounds. He has a keloid mark on his armpit. His mother died when he was two years old. His family says the teen loves to play video games. Right now, the days keep adding up and they still have no answers as to where he could be. We done put up posters downtown trying to get people attention. You know, it's like nobody's stepping behind us. It's been too long. It's going to be a month and nobody's done done nothing. They're not giving up hope that Keyshawn will safely return home. Shorty, I'm looking for you day and night. No sleep. No, no sleep. Daddy looking for you day and night. And the family told us they reached out to the FBI, but the police are the ones that are handling this case right now. If you have any information that could lead police to Keyshawn, their family is asking you to contact them immediately. In the newsroom, Glenn Marshall, WGN News. Well, September.